The era of the Wild West stretched from the 1860s to the early 1900s, characterized by a massive influx of settlers into the western United States. Families staked their claims on vast stretches of land, while cowboys and outlaws wandered the open countryside. Life on the American frontier was rugged and perilous. Those journeying along the Oregon Trail and other western routes encountered numerous hazards. Bandits and outlaws wreaked havoc by pilfering horses and robbing trains. Women, outnumbered by men, undertook tasks that mirrored this stark reality. It's no wonder our fascination with the Wild West endures. The frontier life was rife with captivating tales. In this documentary-style video, we delve into 11 intriguing facts about the Wild West and the resilient individuals who shaped this distinctive period in American history. Number 1. The Wild West was a time of great innovation. For those living on the frontier, innovations must have seemed scarce. Settlers lived in small cabins or frontier towns that lacked the conveniences of established places in the East. However, innovations were occurring on a larger scale. Railroads extended further and further west, while telegraphs and telephones made it easier than ever to communicate across long distances. Number two, women in the Wild West formed clubs promoting the arts and culture. Married women who traveled to the Wild West with their husbands worked hard to make the untamed land their new home. Wives banded together to organize clubs and events that promoted arts, culture, and shared interests. While women living back east scoffed at the idea of living in west, women who organized clubs insisted that their towns and cities were just as civilized as their eastern counterparts. Number three, although prostitution is a well-known Wild West occupation, women worked other jobs too. Prostitution was a common occupation for women living in the Wild West. Because women were outnumbered by men, their services were well received. Prostitutes outnumbered other women 25 Tirobor 1. This was not the only job option available for single women, however. Saloon girls, dance hall girls, and hostesses were entertainers who sang, danced, and chatted with patrons. Female entertainers earned $10 per week plus commissions on drinks sold. They would often chat or dance with a patron and then direct him to the bar to earn money on his drink purchases. Some of these women chose to offer up services as prostitutes, while others strictly worked as entertainers. Number four, the Pony Express only lost one mail sack during its operation. The Pony Express was a short-lived but highly efficient mail service that ran from Missouri to California. Riders traveled 65,000 miles and delivered 35,000 pieces of mail during the Pony Express's 18 months of operation. The average rider was 19 years old and earned $100, $150 per month. Number five, price gouging was a major problem during the California gold rush. People flocked to California when news of gold spread across the country. The gold rush that ensued drove prices up to sky-high numbers. Eggs sold for $3 each, which is the equivalent of a whopping 105 today. Butter sold for 20 or 70 today. Chauvel's cost an average of 36 or 12 in in today's money. Number six, it was pretty easy to become a sheriff in the Wild West. Sheriffs were the classic good guys for townspeople and the bane of an outlaw's existence. This important occupation was actually quite easy to pursue in the Wild West. Few states or towns had specific requirements. Sheriffs had to meet for employment. A few basic requirements in Texas, for example, were that a man be 21 years old and an American citizen. Number seven, gun control laws were strict in some towns. Towns like Deadwood and Dodge City are remembered for their debauchery, but gun control laws in these towns were actually quite strict. Visitors had to check their guns with the sheriff and received a token exchange. This kept newcomers from causing problems during their visits. Residents were allowed to keep firearms in their homes for self-defense. Number eight, lead-footed had the opposite meaning in the Wild West era. Today, someone is called lead-footed if they drive too fast. In the Wild West, being lead-footed meant you were too slow. While everyday life did move more slowly in the Wild West era than it does today, Many activities required speed. 
Being a slowpoke would have been detrimental for cowboys or farmers. Number 9. The U.S. Army waged war on the buffalo. After recognizing importance of American buffalo as a food source for native peoples, the U.S. Army ordered the mass killing of these animals to starve out natives. Between 10 and 30 million bison roamed the American West before the hunting started. Afterwards, less than 1,000 remained. Buffalo Bill Cody earned his name by killing 4,000 bison himself in a two-year period. Number 10. Railroad police kept cargo and passengers safe from bandits. The railroad police still exist today, but they were formed in the 1860s as train security. The railroad police kept cargo and passengers safe from the ever-present threat of train robberies. Gangs of bandits would target trains, and railroad police were often the sole protection available on the frontier. Number 11. Not all cowboys fit the modern stereotype. Spaghetti westerns of the 1950s have cemented a certain cowboy look in our minds. In reality, about one quarter of cowboys were African American. Many slaves worked as cowboys and continued the occupation as free men after the Civil War. Others were always free and chose the cowboy lifestyle.